god. <laughs> yes! That color made such a huge difference. Really I did. know. Look at the sign. Legendary. I love it. I like it. Oh, Look my the God. window, too. I'm very grateful that John kept the name. I know how important it is to my customers. Champagnes has had a lot of names over the years, but this is the one that's stuck for a very long time. And I think everybody's going to be happy with it. What do you think? I'm loving so, it. I'm loving it. Look at the sign. Legendary since 1966. This bar has had five different names, really, over the years. But it's been Champagnes for 20 years. And that 20 years is really important. Even the awnings were historic to me. So I was extremely respectful. By keeping the outside the same, it gave me the creative space to make the inside different. I'm scared. <laughs> you ready to see it? Yes. Go. Ah! Oh, gosh. <laughs> yes. Wallpaper. <laughs> wow. I love it. Wow, oh, look the at these. Oh my god. Yes. Look at what they did. Oh my god. Legendary. <laughs> 1966. Oh, oh, that's cool. This is wow. so good. This is so nice. Oh my god. Where did these come from? <laughs> the blueprints for this place that people have been looking for for years, I have no idea where John found them. The previous owner told me he'd been looking for them and he couldn't find them. As far as we knew, all these records were destroyed. Nobody's gonna come in here and say they ruined champagne. No. Everybody that thought that John Taffer was gonna ruin this bar were so wrong. <laughs> I think the naysayers are gonna be yay sayers. It's pretty awesome. Well, what do you think? <laughs> I absolutely love it. There's a lot going on. Sit down, let me tell you all about it. I didn't only keep the wallpaper. I made it the centerpiece. Look in the back wall. Look at the gold trim around the sconces and the black color in those insert panels. All of that was designed to make the wallpaper pop. And doesn't the wallpaper look better than it did before? It does. It does. I restored it and made it a centerpiece. And then I got vintage chairs that I recovered so that they would fit back into the age. This wasn't about just remodeling it. This was all about respect right down to the blueprints on the back wall that were the original blueprints of this building. So when you look at those plans, you'll see how respectful to history we were. That is a picture spot. And I want people to stand there under that champagne sign in front of that wallpaper and send it out on the internet that you are legendary. And it's right there in a snapshot. You now have three complete workstations yes. with three two-touch POS systems, and you can really function now on a Friday, Saturday night when you're packed. Oh, wow. And I'm really proud for the city of Las Vegas that champagne now lives for another generation. Beautiful. So let's do this, okay? All right. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Hi, Ma. <laughs> it looks... Didn't it look so yes. much better? Yeah. I feel more like I'm back in time. The Derby Bar and Grill. Look at this. Derbies! What are we talking about? Roller Derby. Although there's a lot of nostalgia for the roller rink in this community, I needed to create a bar that could stand on its own as a separate business. This derby concept will get new customers in the door and at the same time honor the rink's importance to the community. The sign is placed there so we do have visibility from the street. What do you think, Jess? It's amazing. The community deserves this. My staff deserves this. I'm proud to be the owner of Derby's Bar and Grill. There's really only one thing left to do. You guys want to see it? <laughs> Look at the roller skating. You like your bar? Oh, yeah. love it. There's actually a lot of little things going on. Come over to the bar. Let me show you. The first thing that I did is I got all historic photographs from Roller Derby to give it some authenticity. I turned that into a penalty box up there, which is, in essence, a place that you can sell for bachelor parties, bachelorette parties, and just use that as a little private area. Each workstation has its own two-touch POS system, which is fast. There's a printer in the kitchen, so all the items print up with the stool number, the table number, so we know where it goes. I got Thunder Group to give you all new bar tools, everything that you need to be successful behind the bar. I also wanted to make sure that we sold. 
Nothing is over $5 in this bar. The median household income level is $27,000 a year. Poverty is $22,000. So I wanted to provide value at low prices so we could compete with the national brands in the community. Guys, we got a bar to open. We got about 200 people standing out there. You ready to do this? Yes. All right, tonight we make money. Yeah! Oh, wow. wow. Look at wow. this. Beautiful. And the new sign. Oh, I love it. It's incredible. Since 1995, Trade Winds. I'm so glad that John chose to keep the name The Trade Winds. The brand The Trade Winds has been here since 1965. I want to put that out front. I want everybody to know that right from the get-go. The Trade Winds is an outpost in the tropics somewhere, is what the concept is. Now, think of what happened when I got here. The Trade Winds didn't mean anything. No. You were lost, correct? Now that I got to know you, Chase, you're a really good guy. And look at you, man. Yeah. That's a guy who cares. I got the haircut to change the attitude. I want to show Dan, Eric, everybody that I mean business. There's only one thing left to do, guys. Check out the Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, my God. Look it's... how bright and beautiful it is in here. It's cold in here. We actually have something that works. I mean, do you not feel like you're on a cruise ship? I feel like I'm on the beach. Walk in here, I'm thinking comfortable, tropic. I think the college kids are going to go crazy for this. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, a miracle worker. Do you like it? Let me show you everything. There's actually a lot going on. Come over to the bar, guys. So we took the old brand and gave it a new identity. We have storms and a video system going. And we have maps around the room. Two two-touch POS systems that are set up for speed, and the credit cards work. Yeah. And a third two-touch POS system around the corner. A printer in the kitchen with table numbers, bar stool numbers. Yes. So there's no more confusion, Dan. But my real challenge was your draft beer system. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah. It yeah. sucked, guys. I mean, beyond. So now we're at temperature. Beer's coming out at 39 degrees. There's no foam. Oh. We fixed the system completely. But I also wanted to give us something that was uniquely ours. I wanted something that would add excitement three or four times a night at the push of a button. It's lightning storm mode. There's a lightning storm. <laughs> we sell some cocktails. And at that moment, we feature a signature cocktail to drive sales. You with me? Yes. You like that? I like it a lot. This is cool. You guys ready to do this? We yeah. are. Let's we 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 make this money. Oh, no. <laughs> when I turned around, it was like stepping back into time, especially with them colors. I'm waiting. Pops to come walk out that door. Thank you! Oh my goodness, this is wonderful. I wanted to recreate the bar that Sam built. I kept the outside colors the same, kept the original sign, recreating Sam's vision, not changing it. I took the white arches, made them black, because the white letters now pop more. You see his name! Exactly. Yes. I have <laughs> one more thing that I want you to see. Oh my god! And that is. Can you read that, Ruth? Yes. Read aloud to everybody. On this site in 1959, Samuel Jordan founded this tavern for the community of Bayview. Yeah. That is awesome, John. <laughs> see that? You see in history. Exactly right. There's only one thing left. You ready? Yeah. Yes. All right. Go ahead, guys. This place transformed is beyond words. If he were here today to see us, he would be so proud. I miss him. I am so overwhelmed. It's almost like he's here in spirit. What do you think? Oh, wow. Wow. Come on over to the bar. I want to tell you about it. Okay. This wasn't a new concept. This was a rehab. We took his same floor plan and we set it up for a whole new generation. Look at the images of Sam, that connects the generations. Those stools 
are the stools that Sam bought. I got B&L seating to get those done for us. Right. Beautiful. So we've got the environment to succeed, but I wanted to set you guys up with the systems and everything. I got two-touch POS to give you three POS systems so the bartenders don't even have to ring for the servers. I got Thunder Group to give you stainless steel tables in the kitchen, a new fryer in the kitchen, a printer from the POS system in the kitchen. And now that we're operating as one business, I removed the register from the kitchen so that all the bar's profits go into the same drawer. So I got you table tents to promote your food. All these cocktails are designed to pair with the food menu. That allows the kitchen and bar to better cross-promote, increasing our revenue and paying your debt quicker. You happy? We are. Very happy. I know that my father is smiling right now. He always wanted us to be together as a family. That's what it's about. I want to see the customers' faces when they walk through that door. Sam is watching now, so let's make him proud tonight, guys. Yeah. Right. Let's go do it. OK. I, I haven't been this close to my brother in the past several years. It's like we lost something, and we got it back. Hi, everybody. <laughs> we want to welcome you to Sam Jordan's. Everybody, come on in. Sweet. There it is, brother. It feels like a fresh beginning. The fact that John was even here to help us do this, it means everything to me that he kept the name. It's a symbol of my life. Everybody I've lost over the past years are probably looking down right now, and they're just as excited as me. And there's a rainbow right behind me. Hopefully, that's a good sign of good things to come. I bet you were scared I would change it too much. Uh, I was terrified. <laughs> When you drive by, guys, you see that sign that's still the triple nickel. So I wanted to give the logo a little more of a hard edge, make it fit a little more rock and roll. What I call call to actions on the windows. Gives you reasons to come inside. Live music, draft beer, but when you walk through those doors, that's when the concept comes alive. You ready to see a cool concept? Yeah. All right, go. Get it, man. Come on. Oh, that is awesome. That Look at how cool that looks right there. Oh, that looks amazing. Dude, that is badass. I'm at a loss of words. I don't know what to say. It's, just, it's incredible. It's very garage orientated. Even though it's the same, it's taken on a new identity. Look at the doors, how it looks like toolboxes. Holy oh, It's amazing. The Triple Nickel doesn't feel like a boys club in here anymore. It's inviting. I could definitely see a lot of women coming into the Triple Nickel. It's awesome. What do you think, JJ? It's awesome. Fits who you are? It does, 100%. Fits your concept? 100%. How do you do, bud? It's amazing. You didn't change my home, but you made my home better. There's a bunch of stuff going on. Come over to the bar. Let me show you how to get So when you think about this market, 35,000 military, mm -hmm. little older than normal, you got to provide good value. But rock and roll works in this town. Where does rock and roll start? In garages. Look around the room. Look at your drink rails, your tables, your chairs. Look at how the upper area is now a car lift with a car on top, our new bar top. Look at the stainless steel in the front yeah. and the tire track vertical is going up there. Two complete workstations. One, two, three two-touch POS systems. Those stations and that two-touch makes you faster. Yeah. Drives the revenues. You thought you lost your home. Look at that 555, man. Your dad's legacy freaking lives, buddy. It does, thank you. Look at me. It's not going anywhere, and you know what? Neither are you. <laughs> Guys, you have nothing but hope, right? Tonight, let's turn that hope into money, OK? Let's do it. Thank you. Oh, my god. Nice. Look at this place. It's a lot brighter. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. I love the new name. <laughs> Oh my gosh, everything is perfect. I'm so excited to get inside, I can't wait. The sign's great, the color's great, it's nice and bright, this is so incredible. You like? It's so awesome. You run this place like it's downstairs, like a basement. So I wanted to build you the coolest downstairs bar you have ever seen. But the problem started with out here because it didn't pull your eye. Mm -hmm. So I infused a bright color with the orange, got your new sign with the new logo, a little more class. The name of the bar is Downstairs Bar and your Kitchen. Kitchen. These subtle differences make you say, it's new, it has food. You guys ready to go inside? Yeah. yeah. You sure? Oh, yeah. Go. Wow, oh my god.
god. Look at how far. I know. Love it. Oh, the wall, dude. Do you see this? <laughs> the wallpaper. Back used to be where you only played pool. Now everyone will come back here. This feels like mom's basement. Yeah, it does. It's so warm and more inviting. And you're going to kill it in here. Definitely. Well, it's awesome. You like? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Got a coziness, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's like you can really hang out here for a long time. Come over. I want to show you guys what I did. Everything in this room has one common thread to it. You'd find it in a guy's basement. Mm -hmm. Look at that cool retro lamp. The elevated couch, the retro TV in the background, but it has a high-def screen in it. I put in traditional basement paneling, and of course, every great basement has a rug that is the ugliest color in the world, right? <laughs> because you wouldn't put it upstairs. It goes in the basement. This is the perfect basement. But we only make money if it works behind the bar, right? Definitely. Let me show you the bar. Come on over. Look behind you at the custom men's magazine covers that I made. Look at how the bar top now has a different finish. Look at the tabletops, how they match the wood paneling, the new bar stools that are retro in style. I created bottle steps. I almost always finish them in wood. Yours are made out of brick. Just like a guy would do at home. He'd yeah. stack the bricks. <laughs> and he'd make himself a back bar. Yeah. But it's all about the money, right, buddy? Absolutely. Two workstations with soda guns, wells, ice bins. We have two POS systems, double the production. So, Sean, you like your bar? I, I love it. Thank you so much. You happy? I couldn't be happier. And Pamela, you deserve to see your son be successful. Thank you. Now he's on that path, isn't he? Yep. yep. Sean, tonight you're our leader. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Congratulations. Good work. Woo! I wanted Desi Romano's sports bar and grill to be Desi Romano's sports bar and grill when you walk inside. You ready, Des? Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead, guys. Go. <laughs> they okay, Ryan. They're going to stop us. Go, 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 go. Shut, Shut up. up. Shut up. Shut up. Wow. Look at, look at, look, oh look, my at, God, the look at the thing. The door. Look at the POS. Let's stop. Unbelievable. Look at the jukebox. Look at the TV. I can't quit saying that word, look up. Look at the ball. I know, we, that's where we got to be. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. No light, no light, y'all. This is awesome. The, every, the door, the backboard is perfect. This is beyond my imagination. Oh my god. USB. We have charging stations. You can charge it? No, don't say that. Everywhere. Don't say that. Around the whole ball. Think of that! This, this is the, this is the... Hurricane oh. Lindsay! Ah. I'll talk Desi. I can't thank John enough for coming in here and making my dad open his eyes and helping us all out. I feel like I'm dreaming still. What do you think, guys? You like it? Unbelievable. You know, this was a challenge because Desi Romano's is a 25-year-old brand. So we went out to an architectural artifacts house and bought all of these old shutters, the wrought iron behind the bar, to bring age and authenticity. Your brand is authenticity, history. This will definitely work for the small bit. I got future POS system to put two behind the bar, one back here, and to make sure you're set up. I like it. I'm wow. good. I'm OK, good. guys, I want to show you what we did behind the bar. Come on over. When customers come to this bar, they're going to stay so long that their phones are going to go dead. <laughs> so I got the company Bar Juice to fly out here and work all night to put USB plugs. Go ahead, plug that baby in. I love it. That is the best. Everything's the best thing. All of this stuff adds to value. You don't give away drinks in a place like this, do you? No. Oh, I love that. OK, guys, there's only one thing left to do tonight. We open. We open in about 20 minutes, guys, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. Couldn't have done it without all of y'all, all of y'all, all of y'all, all of y'all. Big Mike's has been serving people in this town since 1989. I couldn't imagine running a place that wasn't called Big Mike's to still have our sign. Couldn't change that sign, could I? Is that sign pop or what? Absolutely. You can't wait to go in, Kat. Yeah. Uh, um, it's killing me. <laughs> go! Y'all yeah. ready? Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my
Area, I put in a brand new floor, 13 tabletops, and oh six God. TVs. We have two solid workstations, two future POS systems, brand new beer taps. We had USB ports installed from bar juice, four tabletops along the wall, and eight brand new TVs. It's just so exciting to know that this is the place I'm going to get to come to work every day. I'm going to love spending a lot of time here. Look at this. Brand new Cisco kitchen equipment, a brand new double batch pizza oven from Turbo Chef Technologies, and then I got Manitowoc ice machines to give you the first ever of their new machine that makes that custom high-end ice now. Wow. <laughs> to see it like this, it's just, it's phenomenal. Look at the football, he's so sanctioned. Deuce McAllister. Oh my God. No, they kept the same. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? For the Saints room, we have eight brand new tabletops and two TVs, and we decorated the walls with Saints memorabilia. Wow. I've never dreamed that I would have a place this classy. You deserve it, Big Mike. This is unbelievable. This has been a week of emotions for me to come around that corner and to see the crown bar and again the wood and the pool tables and the big mics. I mean, I could go on and on and on. I cannot believe that that is our bar. How did I do? Did amazing. You happy? Oh my John. I am speechless. That bar brought me to tears. It feels like a brand new home. Come on over. So, welcome to the Crown Royal Room. When you take a look at everything around this room, this is a completely different feeling. Yes. Do we capture your vision? Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. So I want to tell you a story. About two years ago, I rescued a bar. Superstorm Sandy had robbed them of their bar. They wanted to send you this video. Hi, Mike and Jocelyn and everyone down at the Big Mike Sports Bar. My name is Sean Tuberty. This is my brother, D. We're from the Bungalow Bar in Rockaway Beach, New York. You know, we've been in your shoes before, and we want you to know that there are better days ahead and this too shall pass. When John called us and told us about this rescue, we were excited at the opportunity to help out where we could. So please accept this $10,000 donation from the Bumbleow Bar family to you guys. It's gonna get better one day at a time. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Tuberty's check for $10,000 is to get you a trailer for your girls. <laughs> that was the last promise, Mike. <laughs> Thank you, doesn't no justice. For each one of us, it's going to get better starting tonight. Let's share this with the community, OK? Mike has been generous his whole life, but he needed help to keep the generosity going. Hi, I'm Michael Verma with the Baton Rouge Area Foundation. Oh, OK. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My nice wife, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Nice to meet you, Jocelyn. Pleasure. Very nice to meet you. So the Baton Rouge Area Foundation does a lot of local work to help families like yours and businesses right. get through the storm and the floods. It's so a Crown Royal charitable effort. They wanted to write a check for $10,000 to help other families like we helped yours. Great. That's very generous. That is and great. We've helped uh, hundreds of families get back into their own homes, and this will help get even more families back to where they belong. That's awesome. One, two, three. You surprised the crap out of me, I'll tell you. I like it. I like yeah. it. Lord about the title of the bar, because there's been a lot of emotion over the last couple of days. Pat's Courtyard Bar is a nod to the past. It's carrying her name. Oh my goodness. Pat's Courtyard Bar. I simply put vertical treatments on either side to separate the space from the others. Those are important elements to get people to come inside. I wanted this bar to have your name on it because I wanted every time Russ went in there to be inspired by your dreams for him. And then I wanted you to hand it off to him and give him the proverbial key. You got it. And make it his future. You ready, Sid? Yeah. All right. All right, go ahead. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. oh, my. Oh, my God. What did they do? It's, oh, my God. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Look at this. 
Look at the pool tables, Russ. If you can see that far. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh, Russ, come here. There's pool come tables, here. I come see here. them. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. It's pretty. I like it. It's just class. Oh, I finally love my bar. <laughs> finally. I like the separation. Holy cow. Girls, did you see your bar? Holy shit. Look at that back bar. And one there's well. that one. We have two wells. Two wells. The girls are getting kick ass back there. Yeah, it'll still look better. So, do you like? Come here, John. You deserve wow. a kiss for this one. Holy Christ. It's been flipped. It's cool, yet you feel classier. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. So, I wanted to create several different feels. The center is the bar, and by making the bar seem outside, we created a courtyard concept. And when you're in the courtyard, you look into different rooms. Nice. Look at the wallpapers behind me. There's palms, aren't there? So there is reoccurring themes throughout the room to connect the space. And on top of that, in the DJ booth, is an orange door entertainment system. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I want to show you what I did behind the bar. Let's go over there. Well, we're in the courtyard. You know, in the bar business, speed is everything. So I put in a whole separate workstation. So we have two complete wells now, two Harbor Touch POS systems behind the bar, and another Harbor Touch POS system on the wall. Russ, you got this, don't you? Oh, I got this. I've been flying blind, so does me. No more. No more. You guys ready? Yeah. Hey. Right. Let's open. All right. Sweet. One, two, three. Great. It is absolutely beautiful. What do you think? Awesome. Do you like it? Awesome. So, Rich, what county are we in? Lake County. We came up with a new brand and a logo, the Lake House after Lake County. Look at the color now, more adult. The green is gone with a more mature blue trim. What do you think, Rich? Beats my green. The difference is that'll make you green. That's true. We put lighting over the patio to pull the eye, make the outside look purposeful which will make people curious to come in. What do you think, Jer? I'm speechless. I love it. I really do. So there's only one thing left to do, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, go. <gasps> oh! Oh, my God! Oh. Holy cow. Wow. Look at the bar stools. Yeah, the chairs are awesome. Look at the new bar top. Oh, wow. We have picnic tables. It is dynamite. Now it looks like something that I can attract every age group to come in. Look at the decorations, just like sitting at the lake. And the natural wood finish on the walls, that, that really gives it a nice touch. Two soda guns. We didn't even have one gun that worked. Now we have two that work. We have a real bar set up. The Marinacci mojito. Aww. I'm still overwhelmed. It's just something that I would never imagine this thing could turn into. How'd I do? Oh, it's awesome. You did great. It's got a whole different feel to it. I'm, I'm still speechless. I want to tell you guys what I did. Why don't you grab a seat at the bar? You like Lake House? I do. I had to do a brand change. All new wood tabletops. The dark blue colors complements the wood, doesn't it? It does. A professional back bar loaded with Bacardi and two Harbor Touch POS systems. Yes. You know, when I got here, this was a broken family, not just a broken business. You guys have the same goal now, don't you? Yes, sir. You're a team going together to win. I wanted to finish it up properly, so. Aww. What do you think, Rich? I like it. What's that one say? Joey. Aww. They worked hard. They deserve this. You guys ready to do this? All right, we got a kitchen to set up, bar to set up. Tonight, we make some money, OK? You got it. Let's do it. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.